Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to model a low poly Christmas tree in Maya. This is what the model will look like in the end, so without further ado, let's get into it. We will begin with modeling the body of our tree. First we'll create a cylinder under the polygon tab. Then we will go to the attribute panels and reduce its axis to 5. Hitting 4 on the keyboard to display in wireframe. And holding right click and select vertex mode. We will select all the vertices on the top of the cylinder. And right click while pressing shift to merge vertices. And select merge vertices to center. This will create our polyhedron geometry, the very first part of our tree. Move our object slightly higher by pressing W. Then we will select edge mode. Double click the edge of the bottom face to select the edge loop. And then shift right click to offset edge loop. Drag the edge loop to adjust the distance of the offset. Then we can select all the middle faces and extrude them by shift right clicking and selecting extrude faces. Move the face down and then we can scale them by pressing E. We will use the same principle to model the rest of the tree and also the trunk. Once we have done that, we should tidy up our model a little bit. To get rid of the unwanted edges, we can use the target rail tool by selecting the unwanted edges and dragging them into the edges you want to merge with. To refine our tree, we can select the edge loop of the tree and rotate and scale them so it doesn't look too regular. Once we have finished modeling our tree, we can model the ribbon by creating a helix under the polygon primitive tab. Moving it to the center of our tree, under the attribute panel, we can change the helix parameters. The main thing to look for is a subdivision axis. Reduce it to 3 and the subdivision of the coil to 15. Then we go to the Deform tab. Under Long Linear, click Flare. The Flare Deformer have two controllers, but first we have to rotate it 90 degrees to match our helix. Then we can select the Flare Deformer, and under the Attribute Editor, we can adjust the start and the end flare size. To model the ornaments for the tree is really simple. First, we create a sphere under the polygon tab. Then we select the sphere and under mesh, select triangulate. Then we will reduce its faces by selecting mesh and reduce. Adjusting the reduce percentage until it looks right.
Then select the object and go to Mesh Display and select Harden Edges. Now we can duplicate them by clicking Ctrl D and populate them around our tree. To model the base of our model, we can create a simple polygon cube. We then adjust the subdivision under the Attribute tab. Select Width and Depth and change it to 4. Then we select the boundary edge of the top face, scale them smaller. And then we select the vertices and move them around to achieve an organic geometry. We will now model the present. First create a polygon cube. Select its top face and extrude. Select the side of the top part and extrude again. We then move the bottom part of the extrude slightly lower. Using the multi-cut tool, holding control, we can add division to the cube. We then select the faces of the ribbon and then extrude them. To finish up, we select one of the inner edge of the ribbon and extrude them multiple times. Using the target weld tool to join the ribbon together, then we can refine it by scaling the inner part of the ribbon. We can repeat the same operation on the other side. To complete our Christmas tree, we will model the star. By creating a cylinder, changing its subdivision axis to 10 under the Attribute tab, go to Wireframe and then select every other edge on the side. Scale them more smaller. Select the middle vertex of the star and move them slightly higher. Now we just have to place it on top of our tree.
and this is our Christmas tree. Thanks for watching.